just dropping in just to say hello number one number two want to say happy Easter to everyone and um, I always kind of look to this holiday uh, low-key you know low-key in the sense that I always appreciate this holiday for the sense that uh, you know it's brought the family together um, you know, we did something special. You know, obviously this year we're not going to get to do that. We're on social distancing and all that kind of drive. And so I just kind of want to drop this video in and just kind of say, you know, I'm thinking about you. Hope everyone's having a wonderful Easter. And that um, as much as things as they are, is that uh, you know we can still have a good time. We can still celebrate and um, keep it as usual. You know, it doesn't have to be that different. Um, and also another thing I thought about or realized that um, on the 10th, it was the first 100 days of 2020. And as much as we're dealing with this right now, um, you know, soon we won't be dealing with it. And there'll still be plenty of year uh, to kind of uh, make memorable. So, you know, I want to keep that in mind as well and hope everyone out there is, um, you know, spending the time uh, doing, doing something that's keeping them fresh in the mind keeping them you know keeping them productive keeping them positive you know uh you know and not just spending the time just kind of letting it go by um so that when we get to the other side of this thing that we can have something that we're proud of something that we can kind of take on um and use for the rest of the year so i want to drop in and help um, let everyone know happy easter and uh, i'm thinking about you and um yeah the year's still young 2020 let's get it Hey everybody, Mark Johnson here, founder and creative director of Able Lib Studios. Back again with another vlog. Today's vlog is number 11 and um, definitely off the top. I hope everyone's off to a positive and productive week. You know, we're still on this corona lockdown situation. You know, things are looking better than they have been. Um, obviously, we still have the rest of the month to kind of get through. Um, from what I've heard, uh, the prison saying he's trying to open the everything back up on the 1st of May um, I guess my understanding of kind of how things go um, I guess I was expecting middle of May if not the end of May um, just because I just kind of know how things go where you know um, you know just to be more safe or whatever just in general you know I kind of got Murphy's Law kind of a situation if you expect one week expect two weeks you know what I'm saying that kind of thing so you know for a while there we we're expecting a month and I was thinking how long are we gonna be able to do that or how we're gonna be able to do that and um, you know I mean it's been a couple weeks now we're in, like I said about the middle of April um, my projections of what I was thinking and what I was planning um, I was thinking about middle May if not the end of May um, just because like, like I said just calculating and uh, so the president's talking about May 1st and um, as much as things are looking good, we want to be done with it when we're done with it. We don't want to, be, you know, st you know, uh, 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 start too early and then cause even more, more problems down the road. You know, what I'm saying I think in the post of the, or so I was saying the other day is that, uh, you know, I believe it was the 10th, April 10th, was 100 days into this year, 2020, and with 365 days, we still got a good portion of the year still ahead of us. You know, seasons make different, you know, stuff like that. You know, people who are thinking of going on vacations over the summer and that kind of thing may have to, you know, settle with just being having vacation time over the holidays when it comes to like Christmas, you know, winter time. Um, but whatever the case, it would be great just to be done with this and kind of get back to the lives that we kind of had been living in the sense that, uh, you know, you know, cutting out the social distancing and be able to hold gatherings and things like that. Um, as it is now, uh, again, what I'm hearing is that social gatherings and things like that, at least of the concert or, you know, a venue type situations may not be uh, promoted until, you know, 18 months down the road, you know, something like that. But again, this is all hearsay. We don't know what things are going to go like for real, but uh I'm definitely trying to keep positive. Right now, I'm going to go out and get some uh, greatly needed vitamin D from the sunlight. It's a beautiful sunny day right now. Get a little breeze and, um, you know, try to try to 
keep the exercise routine going and my mind going and that kind of thing. So that's where I'm at. Hope you're in a in a, in a good sunny spot as well, being able to get out into the sun. And uh, let's stay positive for the rest of us. <laughs> All right, y'all. Have one. You know, as we go into, I believe it's the fourth week of this coronavirus. Um, stay at home, lockdown, economy shut down, whatever you want to call it. Um, I've been working on a few different things that I haven't really got a chance to work on that have been, uh, it's been refreshing to kind of get a chance to opportunity to do it. One of the things is blog, my blog. I have a, one blog I've been working on for many, many years and, um, you know, through the process of learning how to gain um, the, 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 the habit and the discipline of creating content for my blog, I haven't really been able to spruce it up and put it into a situation where um, I can regularly make money off of it. So I kind of spend some time refreshing that up and uh, just kind of learning. A lot of it is stuff that I've, you know, touched on in the past, but being that it, it takes so much effort and so much, you know, focus to kind of create the content. I've kind of lost some of those things on the steps. And so I've kind of been able to get a chance to go back and kind of relearn the steps to kind of make it, uh, you know, searchable and make it, you know, uh, fall under, you know, the SEO uh, and show up on you know, blog searches or, you know, searches. So that's kind of one of the things I've been doing. Um, another thing that I've been doing is just kind of just continue writing. You know, I think that's going to have been something that um, is definitely needed for anything that I'm doing at this point. Um, but I guess more or less, more be more specific, uh, it would be seek copywriting. I think I've talked about that in the past. Is just trying to really get to a point where I can um, easily write an ad, you know, for someone, or uh, just kind of write information um, uh, about a certain topic, a certain topic, and. Um, make it relatable to a lot of different types of people. So that's kind of the few things I've been working on lately. The other thing I think is just kind of just being more active. And uh, yeah, so like we always do this time, have a blessed day. See you on the flip side. Let it go.